Now, our top story this morning, North Korea making waves on Tuesday, launching what it claims was a submarine-launched ballistic missile, or SLBM, into the East Sea. It's the North's eighth, pro eighth provocation of the year so far and comes just a matter of weeks after the regime test-fired four short-range missiles. Tuesday's provocation was swiftly met with a barrage of global criticism with the UN among those expressing deep concern. The United States also slammed the launch, saying there needs to be swift dialogue and diplomacy with the North. Our Kim Hyo-sun starts us off. In a briefing Tuesday, the U.N.'s deputy spokesperson explained that Secretary General Antonio Guterres is deeply concerned about the North's latest provocation. He also stressed the international body has urged the regime numerous times to abide by U.N. Security Council resolutions. The U.S. also criticized North Korea for its series of recent missile launches, which it said have violated multiple U.N. Security Council resolutions and threatened regional peace. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki highlighted the need for dialogue and diplomacy. Uh, these launches also underscore uh, the urgent need for dialogue and diplomacy. Our offer remains to meet anywhere, anytime, without preconditions. We're also closely consulting with allies in this, in fact, on this. She also called on North Korea to refrain from further provocations and engage in sustained and substantive dialogue, while stressing that Washington is committed to defending its allies in the region. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command in Hawaii also condemned the launch, but stressed Tuesday's launch did not pose an immediate threat to the U.S. or its allies. The North fired what appeared to be a submarine-launched ballistic missile into the East Sea. It marked the regime's eighth known projectile launch this year. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.